In other news, sharks are being tracked and monitored off the coast of Vandenberg Air Force Base. KSBY News reporter Alex Gonzalez spoke with one of the volunteers who has helped with the tagging. I spoke with Vincent Culliver, who is a member of the Jurassic Sport Fishing Club and who has helped tag these sharks ranging from 10 to 20 feet who are frequenting Central Coast waters due to what he says is an abundance of prey. After an incident in 2014 where a shark bit into a kayak, members of the Jurassic Sport Fishing Club were asked to help a shark researcher tag and monitor sharks in waters that border Vandenberg Air Force Base. According to Vincent Culliver, in recent years, members of the fishing club would sometimes spot five to eight sharks a day. Over the last four years, members have been able to tag 10 to 15 sharks, with the most recent taking place just last week. All the sharks we see are not tagged. No sharks are um, already cataloged, so a lot of them that are here are never seen in other shark tagging efforts. So all the sharks we've been tagging have been new sharks to the tagging worlds. Culliver believes the tagging that is happening is made a little easier by sharks frequenting the area due to the prey available. The public can also monitor the shark's movement with an app called Expedition White Shark. From September to November, December timeframe is when we see an influx here. According to Culliver, that influx is not solely specific to Surf Beach, which is known for its shark encounters, but rather the entirety of the coast from Avila Beach down to Vandenberg. For longtime diver Jack Ward, he says he sees the benefits of utilizing an app like Expedition White Shark to know when and where sharks are. I know they frequent our area. I don't go where they frequent anymore. It used to be a wonderful dive spot 25 years ago when they were still small. Now they're 20 years older, they're full grown. That's not a good place to be. When the sharks are tagged, information is taken and entered into the app so they are identifiable for future reference. According to Culliver, the tagging process does not harm the sharks in any way and it in fact is not only approved by the state but encouraged. He wants people to be cautious and respect these animals in the wild. Reporting in Lompoc, Alex Gonzalez, KSPY News. The Expedition Shark Back Shark app is available in the App Store and on Google Play for $3.99.